what's the deal YouTube what's the deal YouTube uh, welcome back to the channel so a peaceful protester was punched at a Donald Trump rally and I don't really know where this uh, rally happened at but the peaceful protester was walking out he was being escorted by security guards doing what he was supposed to do and a man came across the aisle and punched him in the face. Now, here's the thing. The security guards saw the man react after being punched. And guess what they did? They arrested the man that got punched. So the security guards, one security guard is clearly behind him. See, this is why I don't believe in Martin Luther bitches tactics. Because if you would have punched me at a rally, you would have got shot. This is why I don't believe in that bullshit. I'm not begging you for shit. And if you put your hands on me, you better be prepared to pay the consequences. It does not work. Begging, pleading, crying, none of that shit works. It hasn't worked this far. Not a single shred of respect is given to a bitch who cries and begs and pleads. Not a single bit of respect. If you punch me, you best to believe you, you're going to receive that shit right back. <laughs> and, and this is why I don't, I don't agree with none of these bullshit tactics, especially bullshit, fake, oh, bum bitches. What, what is that, Black Lives Matter? That fucking bullshit. I don't believe in that shit. You'll never see me out marching and crying. And <laughs> please, hell fucking no. Before I do that shit, I set your ass on fire. I set you on fire first. I'm, I'm not finna fucking cry about a fucking cop that shot somebody and then watch that motherfucker walk away smiling. I'm gonna do everything it takes to get at him and make an example. If you, if a police officer kills someone on the streets, there should be an example made. The same motherfuckers that marched for one person been marching for the longest and haven't gotten a bit of shit done. The cop is still walking around free and ain't shit changed. The next day, the same shit will happen. And, and you know what, though? At the same time, y'all have to pick and choose your battles. You can't fucking be mad because someone got killed because they were doing something wrong. And, I, and of course, I understand the, I, I understand the thought process behind there is a system here in this country. Cops shouldn't be the judge, jury, and the executioner. That's just not the way that the system is set up. But if someone like like that dude, I forgot his fucking name. He was out there selling dope. I don't got no sympathy for him. You wouldn't have been you wouldn't have got killed if you went what is his name? Freddie Gray? I ain't got no sympathy for Freddie Gray. Freddie Gray was a dope dealer. He was selling dope to the fathers who take care of the mothers that take care of the children. I ain't got no sympathy for him. Now, should ha should he have been killed like that? No. But let let's take a um. What is the dude's name? Uh, the dude who died in New York. They got choked to death. I got more sympathy for him than I got for Freddie Gray. He told those he told them fucking people I can't breathe, and they kept choking him anyway. And then y'all went out there and cried and, and, and bitched. <laughs> and the same cop is still walking around. Ismael, what is it? Ismael Brinsley did more for that movement than Black Lives Matter has ever done. You know what he did? He walked up on two cops that were sitting in a car and shot them both. He made the whole fucking police force mourn and turn their backs on their fucking government. He did more for that movement than they did. Oh, violence. Violence don't solve anything. Bullshit. This country was founded on violence, motherfucker. We didn't beg for independence. We kicked their fucking ass. We kicked Britain's ass. Don't give me that bullshit. Ain't nobody ever won shit by begging and crying for it. Peace.